Hey everybody and happy new year to you. Happy 2020. Welcome back to Simply Carolyn. This morning I'm getting ready to prepare a breakfast feast for my family. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me get my camera positioned. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Let me see, can I bring it in a little bit closer? Now, just bear with me. Give me a chance to get it where you can see pretty good. Okay, so here I have my iron skillet on. And I'm getting ready to make some breakfast sausage, the Swaggerty's brand. That is a good brand to use. That my iron skillet may be a little hot. And I turned it down some so it will cool off. Back in the freezer. Today we are having grits, which I've already started my grits back here. Go ahead and give them a good stir. And have them just simmering. We're having grits, sausage, eggs, pancakes, and salmon patties. I'm doing two meats because my son does not like salmon. Just my, my mother, my husband, and myself, we, we, eat, we eat salmon, so they'll have a choice, or they can have both. So I'm going to just put this a little, a little bit more, not too much. So what are y'all doing today? I, have, I hope everyone had a happy 2020. We did. We started it off in church, as normal. I hope everyone had a wonderful new year, and I hope everybody has a prosperous new year. It doesn't take long to cook in this iron skillet, y'all. I went ahead and did most of my prep work, so this video won't be so long. You have an iron skillet that's a good thing to invest in because it cooks food evenly and it just makes it taste good especially after it gets a little older second these I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip them so they're brown around the edges and then I can flip them again one more time before taking them out. I'm 
What are y'all having for breakfast today? One thing I did forget was to get some orange juice. And I think I'm gonna give my husband a call and have him to bring some. He always gets up and go and get his morning coffee. I have him to bring some orange juice when he comes back. So after I get my eggs done, get my eggs done, get my sausage done, I'm going to go ahead and do my eggs. I have eight eggs that I have cracked and in this container already mixed up with salt and pepper. I'm going to get that done once. The sausages are done. Haven't been outside yet, but it looks like it is a pretty day. And I think I'm going to pour off some of this liquid on this sausage. And anytime you use an iron skillet, you want to use a pot holder because the, the handle gets hot just as well as the actual pan itself. So always use caution in the kitchen and use a pot holder. Get just a second here. Get this done. Made a lot of oh yeah, and I want it to pan fry more so than steam. And I'm wiping the side of my pan because when you pour it out, I'm sure some dripped, and don't want to start a grease fire. Okay. Now these will render some more fat and if I need to pour some more off I will. And the kind of salmon I'm using today is the double Q paint salmon. There's several different kinds and I've used different brands. I can't really tell a difference in the taste. And I think it's mainly how you season it when you cook it. I have two of these and I've only mixed up one can because like I said my son doesn't like them so I'm just going to Put this one back in the cabinet for another time. I think we'll have more than enough to eat with everything else I'm cooking. I'm going to go ahead and give these another flip. Let that side get a little more brown in the middle. There we go. Look at my grits again. And that's coming out of my mouth. I've had this on for a while. I like to put my grits for a long time, y'all. So I'll go ahead and start it. I like smooth, creamy grit. So that's one you're supposed to do. Now you can tell it's not simmering, it's actually frying. You can tell the difference in the sound.
Oh, that's one of the coming in now. I was going to call you and tell you to bring some orange juice. You need me to go back to the little orange juice? Yes, yeah, if you don't mind. I'll give you a little bit. Well, these are about ready to come out, so. Once I get these out, I'm going to go ahead and do my eggs. Then I'll do my salmon, and then I'll do my the pancakes and you'll be ready to eat. It does not take long at all. We got this here just to drain the grease off of this sausage. There we go. You don't want to overcook your sausage and you don't want to undercook it because if you overcook it, it's going to be dry. And you definitely don't want to undercook it. Get that just to get that char a little bit on this side. And since I did go ahead and pour off some of the fat from the sausage, I'm going to use this same oil, and it's not a lot. I'm going to add a little bit, just a pat of butter. There we go. That's our sausage. Move this out the way. And I'm going to add just a little pat of butter, so I like for my eggs to taste buttery. Just a little, you don't need a lot. Grab a knife. Y'all, I don't like the stuff to sit inside of a container and get hard and sticky and make your dishes harder to wash. Because I'm old fashioned, I wash my dishes by hand with some bleach. I don't know if any of the rest of you guys do that, but in here, I have to have my bleach. You know, these are my pot pans from where I made sweet potato pies. They're good to have to uh, if you're cooking something. It's good to have to put it put your food in once it's done. Okay, so now gonna move these around a little. Here. Just want to move them around so that all of it can be done. Don't get done. Yeah, 
stay is looking just the way I want it. And it's going to be a little darker because we used the drippings from the sausage. So that's just going to add some more flavor. Now who doesn't love flavorful eggs? wipe down while I'm cooking. I don't like to see stuff splattered and all over the place. Okay, these are ready to come out. Just remember they are still cooking even once you take them out. Ooh, that's hot. That's one thing I love about an iron skillet. You don't have to wait long for it to heat up heats up pretty quickly and that's another reason why you have to stay with your food you can't just walk off from it when you're cooking it <coughs> excuse me in an iron skillet I hope y'all can hear me I may not be talking very loud but I hope y'all can hear me pretty good forgive me if you can't okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash this skillet and we're going to use it. I'm not messing up a whole lot of dishes today. I'm going to set these eggs off to the side while I get this skillet and the spatula washed. So y'all bear with me. And it's easy to clean because it's, it's still hot. So it won't take but just a few minutes to get it clean. Ready for no use. Another thing I love about this iron skillet is a one hit wonder, y'all. And like I said, because this pan is still pretty hot, it cleans up quickly. Look at me. I'm coming. Okay, so we have our skillet ready to use again. Okay. So now some more oil so that I can go ahead and get started with these salmon patties. I don't want to make this video too long. So I actually did my prep work with uh, the eggs and prepping the salmon and also my pancakes so that I don't make this video too long. I have my can of salmon here in this bowl. It's already been mixed and all I did was open the can of salmon and I took that bone, it's a soft bone. You don't really have to take it out if you don't want to. It's edible, but I just prefer to take mine out. And I cut me 
some onion up and I put in a little bit of accent and I did one egg and when I make salmon I do if I make two cans of salmon then I'll put in two eggs you don't want it too wet but then you don't want it too stiff either so that's how I usually judge mine by one egg per can and if you've never had salmon before y'all should try it it's really good and it's good for you and also some people put bread crumbs or bread in there I don't do that I just use the actual meat I don't like all that bread in there mine I'd rather just have the good old meat and one can will make about four patties according to how big or how little you make them so I try to even mine out so they all turn out to be the same size so oops I forgot to turn my pan up some more because I turned it down when I was cooking the eggs so I'm gonna give that a minute to warm up stir these grits again They are looking good. Just gonna let them continue to simmer until I get everything ready. And y'all hear, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but you can hear that little bit of oil that I put in there to cook these salmon patties. You can hear it bubbling. So that's a good indication that the pan is hot and ready for me to go ahead and put what I'm gonna put in it. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And I've sectioned it off like into four sections. And all I'm going to do is pick up one section at a time and form my patties. Just gonna, you hear it now, no. Let me turn it back down just a tad. And I like to flatten mine out, y'all. If I would have used two cans, I would have made them a whole lot bigger. But you just put, uh, form them into a patty just like you're making a, a hamburger, a homemade hamburger patty. And then once your pan is hot, you're just going to gently lay it in your pan. And then let it go ahead and do what it's going to do. And I believe I can get all four of these in there at one time. We're going to see. I'm going to form it in a little ball. A little round ball. Or a little round patty. And then flatten it out. Like so. Easy peasy. doing the same thing until you have as many as you can get in your pan. I'm dropping onions, but that's okay y'all, I'm going to sweep up anyway when I'm done. in there. I figured I could get both of them in there. I'm sorry, y'all can't even see what I'm doing, but I was trying to 
fold it over my bowl so I don't be dropping my little pieces of onion. But I think I got this. Okay, and this is my last one. I'm gonna go ahead and lay that one in there. And that's that for that. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my flame back up a little bit because it was getting a little too hot for me before I could get the patties formed. So now that I have them formed, and in the pan the way I want them, I just turn it back up. And now I got it on a medium, a medium heat. I have numbers on my stove, and let's see. Let me wash my hands here. Oh, y'all, my water in my sink gets so hot that it's fire. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to let the rinse out my bowl before I wash it. Oops, I bumped my camera. There we go. I have one through eight on my stove here. And I have my flame on a five. There we go. Have it set on a five. So that's like medium. Because it goes low then medium and then high. So I got it like on a medium heat. For those of you that would like to know. Okay. Let me grab my pan for these. Don't take long for them to cook. And do not walk away from them. Because you do not want to burn these delicious salmon patties. You will be very mad with yourself. So I'm pretty much almost done. All I have left to do is the pancakes. And they won't take long once I'm done with this. Um, these salmon patties, I'm going to wash my pan again. And we're going to get started on the pancakes. And then we'll be ready to eat. Didn't take long at all. But if you prepare your stuff ahead of time, it helps. You won't, nobody wants to be in the kitchen all day. I know I don't. I don't mind cooking, but I don't want to be in the kitchen all day. Well, you see me wiping down things and... Trying to keep things as clean as possible. And everybody don't do that but y'all. That's y'all kitchen. I pass no judgment over here. I just like to keep it semi-clean so that when I do get ready to actually clean, it's not so hard on me. So how you can tell when your salmons are ready to be flipped, you will see a little golden brown ring around the bottom and that lets you know that you can pretty much go ahead and flip that and what I usually try to do is have a fork or a spoon handy and I do have a fork here that I actually mixed my salmon with and I use that to kind of hold it in place while I flip it so, I, so it don't splash and also so it don't break apart I hope you guys are enjoying this little video and I'm try to not keep it so long. So let's see, I see my first two that I put in, they are actually, they have that golden brown ring. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to flip these over and y'all be careful when you're flipping in this grease. And all you have to do is just slide it off your off your uh, fork in the spatula. Okay, I got that one. Flip. Now I'm going in with the second one because it is definitely golden brown. And I use the back of my fork to flip it. And then I take my spatula and slide it off the fork down back into the grease. 
so that I don't get popped with this grease. And also so that it don't tear apart. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get this one because you can see. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. You see that golden brown ring right there? That lets you know it's ready to be flipped. That's the ring I was talking about. Just going to flip it over. Take your spatula and slide it off your fork or spoon, whichever one you're using. And this last one is ready to be turned as well. And I'm going to go in with the same method and do the same thing. I'm going to just flip it gently over. And you have to be gentle with these because if you don't, they're definitely going to break apart. So now I have all of them flipped over. And you just want to cook them until they're nice and golden brown. And y'all, we are just about done. If you're not already a member of my family, I thank you for stopping by. And I'd like for you to give this video a like. Leave me a comment if you feel like leaving a comment. And hit that notification bell so that you are aware when I upload a new video. And make sure you subscribe. And share this video out with somebody that you think would enjoy seeing it. There is no drama here on Simply Carolyn. I'm just Simply Carolyn. No drama. Drama for you. Never have to worry about drama here. And just know that whenever you become a part of my family, you are appreciated. And welcome. So a few more minutes and these babies will be ready to come out. And we can do our pancakes and we will be done. And I will give you all a final look at everything that I've cooked. And me and my family can go ahead and eat. Yeah, but I gotta keep working on this though. I don't like grease splattered all over the place. And I didn't use a lot of grease, but still, no matter how much or how little you use, you're gonna have some splatter. That's to be expected. Y'all, it smells so good in here right now. I wish you could smell in my house. I don't know, somebody's out here in my yard blowing. They're gonna have to sit there and blow. Because I am actually doing a video. Laura, I think that's Angela. Y'all, let me put y'all on pause for just a moment. Okay, y'all. I had to end my recording. Because I had company come in. My cousin from Pauly's Island came in to visit us. But this is my final product. We have pancakes, salmon patties, sausage eggs and i have a big pot of grits here on the stove so we're gonna go ahead and get it in i thank y'all for stopping by and i hope you all have a wonderful first day a good day of the 2020 year and thank y'all for stopping by goodbye